Now, today I'm going to um, explain some things um, that has to do with you getting a faster and cleaner system. When I say faster and cleaner system, I mean a system that is faster by startup and then is cleaner. What I'm saying is some of the time when we are using a Windows system, we discover that a lot of applications are running in the background and they are disturbing the real job you're actually doing. And then another reason, another thing is that you you start up your system and then discover that um, um, a lot of applications are trying to start up, a lot of programs, a lot of softwares, and they are disturbing you from actually starting the job you want to do in your system as fast as possible. And so right here, you can check the this side on your system and you can see all the applications that are running. Once you check this part on your system and you discover that a lot, there are a lot of applications there, is there that you don't even need at all. Uh, or there are a lot of applications there that you don't want them to be starting up and all that. There's a place where you can turn most of these things off. And then that's what I'm going to show you today. But this tutorial is actually for people using the Windows operating system. This system, um, this PC, has the Windows 7 configured on it. So let's start. Now, to turn off these things, you press the, the Windows button on your system. Or rather, you just come here with your mouse click this and then it opens up and then you press ms config i will take that to mean microsoft configuration and then you click this and then it pops up now it brings something like this up now you see a general you see a boots you see a services you see a startups you see a tools now we're not talking about the tools today we're not we're not talking about the tools today we're talking about the services and the startup now you see the services is a list of all things of all the things that is running in your system right now all the softwares that are running on the system and the ones that are not running now looking through this is actually you have to be a little bit careful of knowing what to turn off in this part of your system and what you are not supposed to turn off now let's look at this i use the avg uh avg antivirus so here are all the avg um right here is the avg um softwares applications and all that are running on my system and you can see right here it says running 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 and you can see right there it says stopped now is this one is actually running now you see all those things as they are running in your system they take a lot of cpu power meaning that the more applications that are running your system the more job your system has to do you understand so sometimes you may want to turn off some things from running in your system but the point is turning off a lot of um now if you look right here i turned up the google i turned up the google update service on my system because um it uses up a lot of data and um a lot of internet data and sometimes and i don't have more that much to give out so i turn it off and then it has been stopped and that has been for a while 2015 that's october no november 24th to november 2015 i turned it off since then and you can imagine how much data that i would have saved by turning things like that off so i wouldn't talk about this much today but th th there's one thing i'm going to talk about when it comes to the services here you have to know what you are turning off and this is a little gist to know what you're turning off don't turn anything off that you're not familiar with because some of the things are responsible for the little things that happen in the system for example the display a lot of other things so when you turn off something you may have problems with the display on the system so i would say you don't turn off too much things right here or rather let me see you have to be careful turning off things here so let's go to the real thing is the startup this is actually where most of the things that disturb in your systems are now look here i have a lot of things turned off right here i have adobe reader turned off right here i have adobe acrobat turned off right here I used to have a vast of my systems turned off, I've already uninstalled it, and I have a hell lot of other things that are turned off in my systems, and these are things I don't want in my system. Now, when you look at it, my 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 startup is actually cleaner than most people's startup because I'm a little bit careful about uh, downloading things from the internet, and because I'm a web developer, I know when they are trying to um, lure me into downloading softwares that I don't want to download, but because some of us are not really uh, actually that web savvy enough to know when we are trying to download softwares you don't know want to download so in case you've downloaded them just come here to the start up and then look through them look through their names look through their manufacturers and if you discover that no you don't actually need any of these guys on your system let me say guys just come right here and then turn them off by unmarking it you've turned it off and by marking it you've turned it off you turn it on by let me say that again by unmarking it you turn it off and by marking it you turn it on now after unmarking let me let me just do this let me turn the adobe reader back on after if i turn the adobe reader back on to take the effect to my system i have to click apply once i've clicked apply that means my system already understands that it wants this thing to turn on whenever i want um 
whenever I turn on my system, I want the Adobe Reader to also start up my system. And then after I've done that, I click OK. And that is it. So with this, I think you, you know how to turn off a lot of applications in your system. You know how to turn off the startup and stuff like that. Maybe on a tutorial, which I'm not really sure, maybe it's going to be the next or something. I'm maybe going to teach you guys how to... Let's let that time come anyway. But I think you understand this now. Thank you.